okay. I just saw this. The way YouTube treats MXR and Protastic Panda is deplorable. Quite honestly, I don't think it's YouTube. I think it was Bethesda. Because in one of MXR's videos, he just straight up told them to bring it on. I think it's them just being a complete bitch to MXR. Just think about it for a minute. He does all these videos on mods. Whether you're... <clears throat> whether you already had the game or not does kind of nudge you psychologically towards, hey, what'll happen if I put that mod in? Thus driving some small portion of people into actually buying the game. So basically, free advertising that Bethesda was getting. And MXR actually said that. But if Bethesda did what companies do, well, fuck if. I'm, gu I'm guessing they actually went out, reached over to YouTube, and just said, Hammer the little fuck. We don't care. Get the fuck off your platform. He told us to bring it on, so we're going to bring it on. Corporate style. all the little soft data points match up and that's really only the the only way that you can measure what companies are doing behind everyone's backs these days is all the soft data points because they're not gonna leave hard data points for you to look at and know that this is actually what's happening this is the truth they're gonna keep everything cloak and dagger behind closed doors away from where you can see them but all those strikes bitch please I've had five channels deleted because YouTube is a bitch five whole fucking channels where the fuck is my goddamn story What, you don't give a fuck about smaller creators? 55 people subscribed to my channel. Was that, that not large enough to warrant being on anyone's fucking radar? Because it's not just people with millions of other people subscribed to them. It's everybody. Smaller ones, just starting out ones, people who've been there longer. I actually started a YouTube channel, my first one, over 15 years ago. Before Pewds, Mark, Jack, before Fred, if any of you remember that. YouTube deleted that channel. I've been trying to do this shit for over 15 fucking years. And because YouTube deleted my five previous channels, nobody gives a fuck. Because I didn't get big enough to get noticed. But you'll fucking notice when your favorite fucking YouTuber gets shit on by the, the corporatocracy and the bureaucracy in the system. You can't just cherry pick. That's the takeaway I'm trying to give you. You can't just cherry pick. Oh, this one's my favorite. It's getting shit on, so let's let's try and change the system. No. You have to look at more. Instead of this narrow-minded point of view, you have to look at everything involved. Yeah, that may be difficult. Because there's literally billions of people on this planet... 
and there's probably millions of YouTube channels or hundreds of millions. I have no fucking clue. <clears throat> but you can't just cherry pick little points because the bureaucratization and the corporatization of just being alive those jackasses that are fucking everything over, they'll look at that one example and say, oh, bitch, please, that's an isolated example. It's inadmissible evidence. Fuck off. But if you come at them with enough data points that cover every type that you can find, if you cover enough types of content... You'll get some major fucking attention drawn to the subject matter at hand. Ah, but what the fuck am I saying this for? Probably don't even have two brain cells to click together to make a spark. Probably don't understand a single fucking word I've said. Either that or you just don't give a fuck or you're too lazy to do any real research. Just think about it. That's all I have to say. Till next time.